Have you ever looked at a great house and then run into foundation problems? Dream destroyed. Hi, I'm David Orca with Winston Properties. Today, we're gonna to take a look at that dream house. We bought it and we're gonna fix it. With the help of urgent foundation repair out of Fort Worth, uh, we took a good hard look at the house before we got the offer in and decided that we could make this a great house and fix all the foundation problems we found. So today we're gonna to look at some of the work they're doing, talk about why, and then fun part is watch them actually do some lifting. And uh, we have parts of the house need to be lifted up about three inches. So it's gonna be uh, a big difference in the feel of the inside. So why is this a dream house? Well, you can see it in the reflection behind me. We're on the lake and we got a great deal on this house because the foundation really scared off a lot of buyers, we think. And uh, because we have a great team here that can get the cosmetic renovations done, once we get the big foundation work done, uh, we can really accelerate and get some value out of this house. We've talked in other videos about the equity cushion. So what we know this house will be worth later, once it's fixed up, is better than what we'll buy it for and then the amount of renovations that we'll put into it. So we call that the equity cushion. We have a lot of equity cushion here to do the renovations and foundation repair that we need. And actually the foundation repair is probably only going to be about 15% of the cost of the total project with carrying costs, with the cosmetic work we do to get it done. We expect to have it ready in about three months. The problem is evident as soon as you walk in the front door. You can feel the house lean to the right a little bit right here. And basically we have a beam and a lot of sub flooring under here that have failed and so the kitchen is leaning that way and the two bathrooms on the other side of this wall are leaning into it also there are some rafters throughout the floors that need to be done and along with those rafters we have floor issues here you can see they last night just replaced one of these pieces and then all of the rooms have bounce in the floors so those rafters need to be redone and then we have large cracks uh, in the tile as a part of the floor is sinking down. And going into the master, this primary bathroom has the same thing. As you walk in, you can feel it leaning that way. And uh, the total amount of these things need to be raised is about two to three inches. The team is loading in all the bottle lifts. They're gonna look at lots of parts of this house at once. We'll have six guys under there operating all these, doing them quarter inch by quarter inch as we bring it up. This is one of the front corners of the house where we've dug in for one of the the piers right here, six feet over right here. Those are the two holes out front. And then they went underneath the house and dug another hole to six feet over right here. So we didn't mess up the concrete outside. Really classy of them to do that for me. But then this piece, there's a sill board. So you have the big concrete beam underneath the house. And then you have a sill board on top of that and you lay all the joists on top of that. That sill board will take the moisture instead of it getting to the joist, which then if they fail, start to drop things quickly. But that sill board is all rotted. And that's because just outside in the landscaping bin, the landscaping is raised high enough that it uh, rain and things like that are hitting underneath that coverage outside and getting that sill board wet. Here we're through, we can see the new beam right here. This is the original beam, but years ago they did a repair and that's a beam that was skinned up next to this one that is probably okay, but this one's definitely not. This is new, and we'll see if they need to replace that one or if it doesn't have water damage. This door has not closed by about almost a quarter inch. We've done some work around here, but it isn't all the way there yet. So the leveling has begun. We've got these leveled out, and we can actually feel them lifting the floor underneath us as they pump the jacks. It's really cool. But uh, we did see that here, uh, as they lifted things to get ready, counter didn't crack, but we did get crack between here and the and the backsplash. We're going to be replacing that anyway. But uh, this is the worst part of the house that you could feel the problems. You know, some old pier and beam houses, you notice some unevenness. And so we had a little bit of that throughout the house, but a lot of that's going to get fixed since they're here. And then obviously that big hole and just totally rotted floor under the washing machine, that part's uh, going to need a lot of work. And now we know that we're going to be cracking floors and the shower and stuff like that in the restroom areas uh, because those were built after things were already probably halfway as bad as they are. So we got, we got some work to do afterwards, but we all had that in the budget and uh, gives us a chance to really upgrade things and make it look really nice when we're done. Back to you in a minute. Yeah, I'm here with Brandon at Urgent Foundation Repair. and He's the one spearheading this whole thing. His guys have been here the last couple days just getting everything ready, but Brandon wants to be here anytime we do the leveling 
uh, as we talked about earlier. So what are you dealing with at this, this mess of a house? Yeah, so our biggest problem was from this point underneath the kitchen cabinets through to the bathrooms. There was a very slow leak over a long period of time and everything was rotted out. So we've got all that replaced and now we're trying to lift it up and sort of get these cabinets looking good again and all that good stuff. So right here, we're dealing with the issue on the floor. We have a little hump where something is pushing the floor up. So we're in the middle of figuring out what that is now, so. And then the final big issue was that corner that I didn't even know about. You guys showed up and started digging. Yes, sir, we surprised you. We yeah. surprised you. So yeah, the exterior beam was dropping. So we had to install some, some pressed piers under there to lift that back up and support it. So did you expect your guys to come inside and do the dirt work on that, that third one? I did not. I asked for a favor on that. Oh, you did? Yeah, we didn't want to bust a hole in your driveway. Yeah. So we did that from underneath. It's, it's amazing, like, how did they even get to begin to start digging that deep under there? It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, well, they're small. <laughs> that helps too. <laughs> cool, well, thanks, Brandon. Yes, sir. Now we're finding that there's a pump in the middle of the kitchen. We've taken out the whole joist underneath it, and it still goes up. We're trying to, we're trying to level it by changing the joist. So that team cut out the whole joist, trying to figure out where the problem is that was pushing it up, and we think the floor is actually warped up from getting water consistently on it. And then uh, it wasn't enough long-term to rot it out, um, but enough to just, maybe it was moist or who knows what, but just kind of, uh, we can jump on it. Uh, almost, not quite a trampoline, but you can get a jump action on it uh, without that joist underneath. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they want to solve that. It might be we wait for the warp just over, you know, we build the joist where it needs to be, maybe that warp just comes back down. Uh, but it's also got tile all the way over the top of it that somehow has not cracked. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The, the big dip that we wanted to fix actually doesn't look like it's all the way fixed because this hump in the middle looks like it still goes down to it. But that uh, behind the uh, counters and everything is now at the same height as the front door, is the same height as a lot of reference points around here. But we have this hump in the middle of the kitchen, uh, the big area that you walk in. So we look at that here. Got jacks pushing up there. Mm -hmm. One you can kind of feel I it. Feel it high there, that's yeah. shimmed off, that should go away. We had a pier sticking up over here, we let this down and notched these joints. So now we just so, have to shim all this up. Okay, so you bring the joist up to it now? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's between between the joist. Okay. So the flooring's just bad, all this flooring's okay. bad. So when you get your bathroom and replace your flooring, all that'll be good. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Yeah. So oh yeah, look how it's all separated on this side. Yeah. That went, oh shit, that went yeah. beautiful. Oh, oh darn, right. that wasn't there. See, before. like if I step, look at your tile right there. Oh yeah. If you stop that, you'll go, you'll go right through it there. So this bathroom flooring has to go. Adios. <laughs> Both bathrooms and kitchen subfloors completely rotted out. The tile's sort of holding it together somehow, but if you look here, see the movement in the tile there. No shoot the gas under the tub. Yep, it is hanging on by thread. Same thing here. Second bathroom, yeah, now we have the cracks here. Yep. Yep, way too close. There we go. Yeah, it's so all around this edge here, mm -hmm. right above the bottom tile. Yeah. Oh, there was a gap up. there before, it closed up, and now it's home. It's going to leak. See, and everything's dipping off from here back, but a lot of that's your flooring as well. A lot of that flooring's bad. So as we're lifting it, you've got flooring that's under that wall, mm -hmm. and it's just compressing. So it's lifting the flooring that doesn't have weight on it, but the weight of this wall is compressing that flooring. So it's okay. not able, able to lift it. But we've done everything we can do to get this hump out of the floor. We've removed the joists, we've checked for nails, we've done everything. Lowered the beams. So, there was, so there was nothing there? Something. Nothing there. Wow. So we've removed everything and the subfloor is still humped up, which tells me it's warped subfloor from all the water that was getting under the house. Even with, there's still nothing under here now. I can jump and it still holds my weight. Wow. So it's that double three-quarter subfloor that's that's warped. So it's either live with it or remove the tile and replace the subfloor. What would you do? I would live with it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that too. That's a good good call. So we did put the joist back. Joist is going back now. Okay. The joist is going back. So now. if it ever unwarps and kind of settles back down, it'll it settle the joist. On that. Yeah. 
but this part over here has now been raised up to the same level as the rest of this first floor. Yep. It's just that's up like half an inch right yep. here. This is up about half an inch. Right. And then even over here is down and all around it's down. It's just this one spot right here. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you were excited about getting foundation work done. We are so appreciative to Urgent Foundation Repair who did this work, gave us a lot of great advice and gave us options as we went through the process, even did extra work that I didn't expect. If you're excited about renovating houses, you're excited about Airbnbs, if you're excited about the quality of life in Granbury and living here, maybe moving to Granbury, I'd love to help you out. We'd love to help people get in new houses in our area. Granbury is growing, it's an exciting place to be, and uh, we'd love for you to be a part of it. So if you're interested in what we're doing to this house and seeing it as we go through, hit subscribe, hit like, and you'll get the updates automatically. I'm David Orcutt with Winston Properties. See you soon.